Hey guys, um, so today we're going to do a tutorial on how to do a health bar. So this is what we're going to be making. So as you see, when I press the space bar, the health bar goes down, and then when I hit zero, it dies. So this is used for like characters, so you can apply it to a character, so when the character gets hit, it's like health goes down, so yeah. So I'm going to make a new window. <coughs> so Delete the default cube. Space add mesh plane. Press three on the mempad. Um, rotate it ninety degrees. Then you're gonna go tab and edit mode. Hold down control, and then this red line. So then you're gonna move it over so it's completely even with that dot. And then um, on frame one, on the scale, and make it so it's about right there. Then I, make sure it's on lock scale. So then it's um so then it locks the scale. And then we're gonna go um frame one hundred and scale it down again. So it's about like right there. That's fine. So there now we have our animation. <coughs> and then we're gonna go into curves editor, select all, pressing A, and then T. So then our linear. So before it was um, like that, so it's kind of curved, so it slowly does it. The linear makes it so it just straight up shoots it. Alright, and then you can change the colors and stuff. <coughs> I'm going to have mine green. Go into here, add property. Name the property health. Make it an integer instead of float. So then integer allows it to be a number. Keep that at zero. And then add a new sensor. The sensor is going to be um sorry. A keyboard. So you can make this like um a touch. Like if your character touched of the bad guy, then the it would go down. I'm gonna explain all this in a minute. So then add a controller, connect the controller, and then um, go over here to property, and then you're gonna make add property uh, health five, or you can do one. It depends how much damage like the it does to it. If it does little damage, then it's one. But we just want to affect so like this is just like a sword hitting or something or getting shot. And then we're gonna go to ipo property. For the for the hypotypes property, health, and then go back up here. Make sure that this is right here on add. So then instead of assigning it to five to the integer five, it will assign it to, or it will add it. So now, let me press our keyboard. Our health goes down. From this, when it hits zero, it kind of just stays there, and nothing happens. So now we're going to make it over here add another sensor, make it property, when it is equal to, um, let's say when it's equal to 100, or sorry, when the property health is equal to 100, that means it's been hit, it's done 100 damage, or 100% damage, that's how I think of it, then it will go over here and end the object. Of course if you had like your little character over here, this is his health bar, then you could um, link these together and then do it so he dies also with it. So when it hits zero, they both die. So yeah, that's basically, that's basically it for this one. You can use this in a lot of games, RPGs, FPS. So yeah, thanks for watching.